Oh my gosh. Oh my God. She too good, bro. Too good. What's going on, y'all? See, I got my shooter back. Come on now. It is the first day of girls playoff basketball. So you know we had to come see my nieces over at North Ridgeville. Cause what's, what's a way to start off the 2024 playoffs rather than seeing your nieces, man? Your North Ridgeville nieces. My North Ridgeville nieces, come on now. <laughs> Action packed day of basketball. You know when we say North Ridgeville, that means we get to see Grace Kingery, we gonna see Maddie, we are gonna see Brooke, we gonna see Raina, we gonna see Cece. We seeing everybody when we come to North Ridgeville. It's a family reunion. They are taking on North Camp Hoover. We ain't never seen them, but I heard they got a freshman guard that's tough. I heard they got a post player that's tough. And damn it, it's the playoffs. Chad, Danny, Brianna, Coach Levy, find the wolf. Let's get to it. Because you're desperate. Damn. That's timely. That's timely. Right on cue. Like they have made nine threes. <laughs> That's their only thing they did. Yeah. Woo! Playing with that girl. Shot. It's going. It's going. Hit it, Brooke. Hit it, Brooke. Yep. It's going. It's going. This is a very important thing right now. For North Ridgeville, number 23, I think her name is Corey. It's 27 seconds in the second quarter. She ain't played all game. Matter of fact, this is the first time I've seen her play all season. This is moments like this where you don't pout on the bench. You wait your moment. And when it's time to get in the game, stuff like this, like right now, they obviously want her to play defense. So use this 27 seconds and make an impact to show them that you deserve more time. You don't pout, you don't say, I need more chances. Get your best reps right here and show them why you need to be playing more. So this is very important. So watch what she does with this. Floater. Okay. Good board, CC. Keep forgetting y'all don't have a shot clock. Woo! That's a tough buck. No reason got this. I wonder, so. has she been going off like this? Like her. It, okay, in the GGs. I need some GGs. Yes, ma'am. Go up. It's time. Hey, it's she, time to turn it where, up. This is where she take over at. And it gets real scary. 
Baseline, baseline. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh. Necessary run ever. Bro, from D. Yeah, her neck is showing. Hey! That's so, that's so tough, just that angle to have her hand. It's an important thing when you playing defense. It's almost like dribbling the ball. Like she's bent all the way over like this. So when somebody hurries up and changes speed, like Brooke does, you can't guard Brooke like this. If you top heavy, because she's gonna change speed and you gonna have to run. If you right here now, you more balanced and center with your chest. Just so she got to switch her stance if she wants to play defense. Oh my God. She too good, bro. Too good. Well, all we gonna say is our nieces took care of business. They came out there with ball for real. What you think about your first Ohio playoff game? It was hype. It was hype. Nieces did well. Nephew commentated the whole Come on, time. Man. It was uh, it was really good for everybody involved. Uh, love to see good shooters. Uh, for the first 27 points that uh, North Ridgeville scored were three pointers. So they're clearly a shooting team. Uh, the coach got everybody in the mix. We love to see that, getting playoff experience early. I think Amy did a great job of, uh, I mean, the game was close, but she managed her emotions, managed the team's emotions, and still got people in the rotation, even though the game was closer than they expected. And yeah, let's give Norcan Hoover. So we got number four, Lauren was hooping. Number 22, the freshman, Brooklyn was hooping. And their post player, number 42, Aubrey. They did a phenomenal job because at first they took, they gave North Ridgeville a scare, like, and actually had to leave for quite a bit of the game. And in that fourth quarter, scores do what scores do. Great players and Grace Kingery took over, but they definitely made their mark. And I respect everything that they did. Like that was our first time seeing them, but you could tell they probably been a solid team all year. But damn, man, like I say, this North Ridgeville team, CC and Maddie are the heart and soul of everything that they do on defense. They rebound the ball, they hustle on the floor. I mean, I can't even count how many rebounds and deflections and tips and how many hands like that, you know, CeCe's gotten on the ball. Like, and I told you, she's an elite soccer player. That Her goalie skills kick in to a fact on that. And even if you don't get the rebound, but you're out there tipping the ball, that has an effect on the game because it allowed her teammates to grab some stuff. Maddie out there diving on the floor for loose balls and getting jump balls. I mean, they brought in the freshman Corey off the, or I don't, I don't know what Grace is, I got look, but Corey, who hasn't played, came in and got some spot minutes, like we told you with that 20, 27 seconds at the end of the second, and earned her about, about eight minutes in the game between the second half, like between the third and the fourth quarter. But Raina, Brooke, and Grace, man, had their imprint on the game, especially Grace, Grace and Brooke, two seniors that know what to do, that play off each other. They, they combine for about 45 points together. Like, when you, have, when you have leadership like that, it's hard to be worried and scared. And these girls follow suit of their leaders. And Grace Kingery might be one of the best scorers. Not, I'm not even gonna say in Ohio, I'm gonna say around the country. Like, I would go toe to toe for the way that she scores, the IQ that she possesses uh, with some of the best scorers that they say out here. So, this is what this is all about. Letting y'all know who top players like this are. Grace will be at the Division I level next year. Uh, Brooke will be playing at the Division II level, making her mark, and she deserved, she deserved her scholarship offer like last year. But that's it. First round of the playoffs for the girls. Excited. Now we got to wrap up because it's the city rivalry tonight between Leary and Lorraine, so we got to get ready for that. Let's get it. Danny, Chad, Brianna, Coach Levitt, Prime Letics, Final Wolves, we out. We out.